Turning to today's China Brief now, a look at some of the stories making headlines in national news outlets as well as trending online. Now, an opinion piece in the Economic Daily calls for special policy measures against those who smear and slander private entrepreneurs. It says that websites should also do their part to ban so-called rumor mongers. Now, last month we did hear from, of course, the Chinese beverage giant Nongfu Spring was targeted by online trolls, and that resulted actually in a drag on its stock as well. Over at the Global Times, some commentary on China's latest economic figures as well. Analysts are saying that the data has debunked the so-called peak China theory, saying that, quote, U.S.-led ideological prejudice against Beijing will not shake the country's economic development. Elsewhere, Xinhua's front page was also focused on German Chancellor Olaf Scholz's meeting with President Xi. Now, the article does emphasize the ties between the two countries and says that global challenges cannot be solved without countries working together. Now, China's ties with Germany and Schultz's visit also being pushed on social media as well with promoted posts on Weibo. Uh, talking about this, um, you know, there, there, there's not a whole lot of, you know, much discussion, but we, what we've seen is that the comment section has been highly censored, Steve, which, of course, it is a pretty sensitive subject when it comes to geopolitics. Yeah, it's a tightrope. Obviously, uh, yeah, Olaf Scholz has had to walk. He is, wants to continue trade with his biggest trading partner, China. But at the same time, it's against the backdrop of uh, EC President Ursula von der Leyen, who has been pushing a lot of possible subsidies coming down the pike uh, and trade restrictions uh, because of distorted trade from her perspective. So it, 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 it makes sense yeah. for state media to kind of court Olaf Scholz's opinion. Yeah, and we certainly heard from the, the president and his remarks and really just saying, you know, this has actually helped, you know, Chinese exports actually helped tame inflation around the world in some ways as well. So at least, uh, you know, putting a positive spin on all that as well.